Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Saturday, uh, January 13th, and what I've got for you guys today is a purse sale. Um, I am sitting on, God, I don't even know how many bags, and um, I gotta move, I gotta find new homes for these these bags. Um, it's inventory time, and the least, the less I have in the house, the less I have to inventory. So, for those that don't know me, Again, my name is Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. Occasionally, um, but not for a long time, I do whatnot auction, live auction sales. Um, although, I'm seriously thinking about making my return to that platform, um, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, so, with that, let's get on with the rules of engagement. Um, if you see something that you like, please reach out to me at jamiewhitenight at icloud.com. Um, I will get back to you as quickly as possible with confirmation that your bag is available and um, the cost of shipping. Um, now, I do need payment um, right away after I send your invoice. Um, if you change your mind, please, please let me know. Don't just ghost me. Um, because if someone else is waiting on that bag, it's not fair to the next person in line. So, um, anyway, with that, let me get on with it. I'm going to start showing bags. Um, some of these bags, well, actually, I think most of these bags you guys may have seen before. Um, I have discounted some, um, but some are at the same price. So, anyway, first up is... This Cole Haan black leather shoulder bag. Super, super cute. Um, she has its magnetic flap closure. And then inside you've got blue lining. You do have an inside zipper pocket. Um, and then outside on the back, you do have a back slip pocket. And then on the front... There's these two little magnetic closure pockets that you can fit like cards or, you know, whatever in. So there's that. So for this Cole Han, let me show you what she looks like up on your shoulder. I mean, just a suit. Hey, no, don't get in my coffee, Frank. Super cute little bag just for, you know, kicking it around town. Um, for this bag, let me see, where am I at here? Um, we're going to go $30 for this black Cole Haan. And we're just going to keep, I actually have three Cole Haan bags. This is the next Cole Haan bag, and I ran out of stuffing before I was able to stuff this one. It is a black satchel, and then on the ends, it's got a couple, it's got pockets, snap pockets on the ends, silver tone hardware, and then you have your blue interior inside slip pocket. Again, this is a Cole Haan. You do have your name patch there. Um, oh, this bag is called the Trinity. I didn't know that they put the names of their bags on their um, thing. But look how cute this little satchel. Oh, I'm sorry, Frank. Look how cute this little satchel is. Um, just a great little everyday bag. Oh, and then it does have, sorry, on this side, the, the outside of it, it does have a flat pocket with magnetic snap closure. So super cute bag. We're gonna go 30 on this one as well. And then I do have one more Cole Haan. It is a brown Cole Haan. This is a brown satchel, brown leather satchel. Um, does have an outside slip pocket but just look how cute this is. It just totally gives me Louis vibes, but like without the pretension of Louis. You've got gold tone zipper pulls, which they, you know, there is a little bit of um, wear to the zipper pull. 
but you got a double zip. And then inside, pull out my stuffing. Here is your interior. Now, there is pen right here. You can see it, just a couple pen marks. Um, but other than that, she is super clean. This one just says made Kolhan made in Italy on the name plaque. It doesn't give a style name, but I do believe that this is going to be a vintage bag just based on, um, the way that it's lined. Um, definitely, definitely though gives me Louis vibes. So on this one, we're going to go 35 on this one. Super cute. All right, next up, we have a Brighton tote. And this is a big ass tote, you guys. It has an outside magnetic flat pocket. And then on the back side, it's got um, a slip pocket. Look at these braided leather handles, you guys. Oh my gosh, and the crocodile embossing. Um, just a sharp, sharp, tote and you can wear it up on your shoulder if you want um super comfortable bag and then it does have a snap closure on the top and you can see I got these bags all stuffed up and I know when I pull the stuffing out Frank's gonna have a field day although the heat just kicked on so he's in front of the heat <clears throat> all right let me show you the inside of the bag here's the inside of the bag there is a zipper pocket in there zipper does work um great bag it does now it does need a little bit of reshaping and i would have done this except for the fact that how i reshape my bags i actually set my leather bags in the sun and let them warm up to where they're pliable and then I reshape and stuff them. Bring them, you know, I bring them in the house and reshape and stuff them. But it's wintertime in Michigan. There is no sunlight. So I can't, I just can't do it. Um, but anyway, so for this Brighton tote, um, I'm asking 25, which is a steal for this leather bag. And you guys, um, my prices do not include shipping. So all my prices will be plus shipping and we'll discuss that over email. Um, if you buy um, over $100 in bags, then I will, um, I will cover the, sh the shipping. Now, that is multiple bags. So... I do have a bag coming up that's got a price of 175. I am throwing shipping in with that bag. But um yeah, so um and then if you buy three bags or more, um I will also include shipping. So um so there's a few different ways for you to get free shipping. You can buy, you know, if you buy three bags, um, I will cover your cost of shipping. Or um, if you buy one of my bags that has shipping included, or if you spend $100. Um, so with that, I'm going to keep going. Next bag up is this brown Steve Madden crossbody bag. Now, this is vegan. It is a vegan leather bag. It's got an adjustable crossbody strap and removable if you wanted to remove it, although I don't know why you would. Um, and it's got gold tone hardware. You've got your twist lock flap. And then there is a, um, a slip pocket on the back. Okay, so there's a slip pocket here, and then there's also a slip pocket on the back. And then inside the bag, you have your slips, another slip, and your branding. Um, it is really, really clean in there. Super cute bag. This one, um, we're gonna do $10 on it, plus shipping, okay? 
me model it for you. Let me show you how it looks when you cross body it. It, this is really cute. Frank, get out of my coffee. Really, really cute cross body bag. Let's back this up just a shade. Okay, go on, Frank. All right, so that's Steve Madden. I do have another Brighton bag. It's a crossbody. It's metallic. Okay. And it is leather. Here is your bottom. You've got two outside little zipper pockets here that work. And then I'm checking to see if Frank's eating my or drinking my coffee. Inside here, you've got a magnetic closure, and then you've got a bunch of little card slots in here. Um, really cool. And I show you this side with just the magnetic closure. And then you open her up. Inside, she's got her key fob, little heart detail for the Brighton. You've got an inside slip and zipper pockets in here. There's zipper, zipper on the other side, and then there's slips on the front of this zipper pocket. I'm holding it too high for you guys. Anyway, this is, I think it's a really cute bag. It does have an adjustable crossbody strap right here. So you can make it shorter, longer. If you wanna make it a, a shoulder bag, you could certainly do that. Um, I just shortened it a little bit because I'm a short girl. But on this one, we're gonna go $15 on the Brighton Metallic plus shipping. Okay, now this piece you guys for sure have seen before. This is the Louis Vuitton Sarah Wallet. Um, I actually realized um, that I, did, I neglected to clean this wallet up. And so I cleaned it up really, really nice. And I threw this aftermarket chain on it. It does not include the chain, you guys. This is just for show. I just want to show you how you can wear it. Um, okay, Frank, you got to move so I can sit back down. All right. So there's your inside. And zipper works like butter, you guys. Inside coin slot. Now, she does show a little bit of cracking around here, which, I mean, with these wallets, you're going to get that. But otherwise, she is fabulous. So for this one, I want, I'm want i asking $100. And um, I will include shipping. So um, if you're interested, $100, that includes shipping. Okay, next up, I have this pink Kate Spade with silver tone hardware. Oh my God, look how cute she is. She will fit a phone. I tested it earlier. Um, just love this crossbody bag. Oh, sorry, Frank. She She's little though. She's a little, little girl. Um, excellent, excellent condition, you guys. You know, there might be like a few scratches on the hardware, but that's it. Inside on the flap, there is one spot here. I did try to get it out with tub of towels. It didn't come up. The I didn't try. Um, sometimes I'll put some shout on a washcloth and try to do it. I did not do it with this bag because I didn't want to make it worse. So anyway, um, there's your inside. You do have inside slip and your Kate Spade branding. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous little Kate Spade bag. So for this one, I'm going to do 35 plus shipping, which this would fit in a poly mailer. 
I can mail a poly mailer anywhere for $10.40. Not a poly mailer, I'm sorry, a priority um, padded envelope. I can mail that anywhere in the United States for $10.40. Currently, I do not offer international shipping. But anyway, Kate Spade, 35. Okay, well, we don't wanna put that there. We're gonna put this over here. And next up is this Valkyrie bag. Now, I did get this bag. I just, you guys know, I just unboxed this bag yesterday um, from America's Thrift Supply. Now, I knew absolutely nothing about this bag when I unboxed it. I have since found out, for my gun-toting mamas, this is actually a concealed carry purse. Right in here is where you would put your, your firearm, zip it up, and there's a lock. So if you remember yesterday when I um, was finding, because change was rolling out of this purse, but also there was a key. Where did I see that key? Is it hanging on the bag somewhere? Snap. All right, I do need to, okay, I'm not sure what happened to the key, you guys, but I know I had the key to it yesterday, so it is probably in the, laying in the box over there. Oh my God, I keep finding more change. Oh, here's the key. So right here is the key. So you can actually lock this. and your, your gun or your firearm is locked inside the pocket. And you unlock it and you can unzip it. So this bag is vegan leather. Now it is a great bag and it comes with, comes with a cross body strap or you can carry it as a satchel. You've got an outside zipper pocket You've got your firearm pocket. Inside, You, it's got a zip close top. And then inside, you have three sections, okay? Um, there's inside slips, zip, and I still gotta clean this purse out because there's still a bunch of change in there. Um, but, so for this one, we're gonna go 25. Great bag, especially if you have your concealed carry. Next up, we have this Vera Bradley blue floral print tote. She is in good condition. And let's see. It does have like a magnetic type closure. I did stuff her up a little bit. Inside, inside there is some slips and your Vera brand, Bradley branding. So for this tote, I'm asking $10. Nice little fabric tote. You can haul groceries in it or whatever. But $10 for the Vera. Next up, we have this Kate Spade. This is a Kate Spade factory. You can tell that with the open spade, okay? Um, anything op when you with the open spade like that means it's a factory bag. It's still a great bag. You've got your top handle. You also have your crossbody strap. It is not adjustable, but it is removable. So if you wanted to take it off, and just carry the bag as a satchel, you could do that. Now, this bag has so much storage, you guys. So the flap has a zipper on it. Inside, that goes all the way down to the bottom of the purse, is additional storage. And you've got your black and white striped interior. And you've got inside slips and zips. 
Now there is some smudging inside the bag. Zipper works like butter. There is a little bit of smudging on the lining. Um, you could probably take a tub of towels to it and um, get some of that out. I didn't on this particular bag because I'm offering it at such a deal. Um, but look at your corners even, you guys. This is just a beautiful bag. And this will, this will transition right into spring. You could carry it now or you could transition it into spring. So for this Kate Spade, I have a cheat sheet. And I bet I didn't write it down. Yep, $25. So we're gonna do $25 on this taupe Kate Spade. What else do I have? Oh, I have this vintage little coach crossbody. Has an outside slip pocket. Your Creed is inside there. This is what she looks like on. Hey, hey, you're not having my coffee. That's my coffee. Um, super cute. Now with this bag, I did check and my phone does actually fit in it. I was surprised. Um, inside is just your raw suede. So for this one, I'm gonna ask $50 plus shipping. And this is another one. It'll fit in the priority envelope. So the shipping on it would be $10.40 anywhere in the United States. And you'll get it in a couple of days. Well, a little bit longer because Monday is like one of the, Monday is Martin Luther King Day. So um, the banks and the post offices are gonna be closed. So anything that is purchased today will get shipped out on Tuesday. But there's your the bottom of your bag. I mean, just great condition this bag's in. So um, $50 for the vintage coach. Frank, you got to get up, baby. All right. Next up, I have a Michael Kors backpack. This is a black backpack. Nylon, gold tone hardware with Safiano leather trim. Now, I will tell you, this bag does have some issues. Um, the top thing is, I don't know what happened to it, it, but there is some wear around here. There is some wear back here. But other than that, you guys, this bag is still, it's still functional. You know, you can still throw it up over your shoulder. You can do both if you want, if you want to, you know, carry it with both. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, Frank, I didn't mean to get you. But yeah, totally, totally functional still. Um, outside zipper pocket with black lining. Let me open this up for you. Inside, she looks gorgeous. Got your Michael Kors black lining. Stop, Frank. You got a zipper pocket. You got slip pockets on both sides. Slips here as well as slips here and back here. Um, here is the bottom. Really clean bag. Um, so for this one, we're going to go 25 plus shipping. Oops, sorry, Frank. Okay. Next up, we've got this coach, this taupe coach. It is, um, taupe patent leather has a shoulder strap. It's not adjustable, but it is removable. So if you wanted to just carry it as a satchel, you can remove the shoulder strap. Now, this bag, it actually, it did have some spots on it, but I took a tub of towels to it, and I pretty much got most of the spots off of the fabric. There is a little bit of light smuts here, but otherwise, um, the fabric is clean. Back here, we do have a little bit of color transfer. On the bottom, you've got some color transfer, and... Thought I saw, I see some on the strap. Oh, 
So yes, there is a little bit here on the strap as well. But this is just darling. This is a perfect church bag, you know? I mean, for those that, that go to church on Sundays, I just think this is such a smart, smart bag. And you can open her up and she's got pink, pale pink interior. There you go. There are some pen marks down in the bottom. I did not try to get that out. There's also a little bit of smuts around the top. I did take tub of towels to that and I actually got, you know, got it a little lighter than what it was, but I didn't see the pen marks and tub of towels isn't, it doesn't typically work on pen. So anyway, really nice bag. We're going to go 25 on the coach. All right, what do I have next? Next up, we've got a Vera. Now, I got this in my America's Thrift Supply box, and I don't think I really went over this bag correctly in my video. It does have a flap here. It's got an ID slot up at the top, and then you've got an inside, or like a zipper with your card slots inside there snap closure and then on the back you have a snap closure and just kind of a place to drop your stuff in so crossbody vera bradley ten dollars holla holla that will go that'll also fit in a priority envelope so you can get it in you know a couple of days from tuesday okay Next up is this Vince Camuto bag. This bag is leather. It is an eggplant color, or some may just say purple. I prefer to say eggplant. And again, you've got gold tone hardware on it. This is a gorgeous bag and it is real leather. This lifts off, it's magnetic. Inside, you have three pockets. Okay, there is an inside zipper pocket. So on this side, you've got your slips. On this side, you've got your inside zipper pocket and then your center section is zipper as well. Really, really clean, really clean inside you guys. I don't think I even saw any smudging and the fabric I call it ultra suede, and I don't know if that's an old name for it. It's not real suede, but it's a suede-like fabric. And I know back in the day when I worked at a retail store, we called that fabric ultra suede. Um, but it's so soft and feels so nice. But anyway, this is a great, great bag. Did I tell you guys 25 on it? I didn't write it down, 25 plus shipping on the Vince Camuto. I should have left it stuffed and then put it up on my shoulder, but it's lovely, lovely bag. I'm tired of saying great. Okay, then it brings us to Chanel. And I know you guys have seen this in a few videos. This is probably the last time I'm gonna offer her up. I am offering her up at 175. I will pick up shipping. Um, there's your bottom. She does have light wear on the corners. And let's see, there's some smutzes. There's a little mark there. On the side, there's a couple of, let's see, there's a few marks on the side. And your corners. Inside, you do have some light smudging in there. I did try to wipe it down with tub of towels, but you know what? This is Chanel. I wasn't fucking around with it, you guys. I'm scared. I don't want to ruin it. You've got your leather key fob. It says Chanel here. Inside zipper pocket. 
your, you've got your CC detailing on your zipper pull, zipper works. There's actually a zipper pocket on each side. And they say Chanel, they got the little C's and then they also say Chanel on there. And this is how you know it is real, everybody. Here's your hologram. So we will do 175 on this bag. I will cover the cost of shipping anywhere in the United States. So Chanel, 175. It is a pale pink. I believe this is from the 2004 New Line Travel Collection. It was the Tom Ford era. Um, leather handles, leather piping, a little bit of um, light wear on your feet, but it's the feet. It's the bottom of the bag. That's how it sits. So who cares? But anyway, 175 including shipping for the Chanel. Okay, we are winding down, you guys. So I've got, I don't know if anybody's interested. These are $10 each plus shipping. These are Vera Bradley travel bags. So, um, you know, handle, it ties, and then it unties. You can hang that up in the bathroom at your hotel room. You've got a pouch down here. Then you've got a couple zipper pockets. A uh, zipper pocket up here. So for these, I'm asking $10 each plus shipping. There's that one. So you'll just need to let me know if you want the black and gray or the black and white. This is the black and white one. This one is quilted. The other one, it wasn't. They both tie at the top. They both have the little hanger. Um, they both have your inside pockets and your zipper. Little zipper thing. So, um, Frank, do not get in my coffee. So $10, just let me know. And let's see, last one up. Oh no, I do, I, I dropped one. So this is Kate Spade Saturday. I showed this a long, long time ago. Um, this is, what this is, is a duffel bag. And it folds down and fits into this little disc for easy storage. So you could actually throw it in your tote bag, say you were traveling or whatever, and you, did, you thought maybe you might need an extra bag. You could throw this down in your tote and it's not gonna take up much room. So she unzips. And then you pull your tote bag out. Oh, I guess I have to unzip it more. Franklin, I'm watching you. You stay out of my coffee. All right. And there she is. She. She does have a crossbody strap and your handles. I should let me stuff this up so you guys can see her stuff. Lord knows I got enough stuff at my feet. I just love this little bag and how cute would that be like you know for a little girl you know when she's going on a sleepover or something you know to have this cute hot pink Kate Spade bag right, that gives you the gist of it so there you go that kind of gives you the gist of it so it's more of a shoulder strap. I mean, you could, you can cross body it. Um, and then you've got your straps. And then on this end, you've got your little slip. But this is Kate Spade Saturday and 25. 
Now the last one is oh, Kipling Kipling belt bag. So, okay, no. <laughs> oh, and it has a little lock too, so that you know somebody can't just nab it from you. There you go, Kipling belt bag. Zipper there, zipper there. And for the Kipling belt bag, um, we'll go $10, holla holla. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, so shipping on this will probably be like five or six dollars in a poly mailer, um, depending on where you're going. So, um, oh gosh, I just realized I'm all covered in lint. So anyway, you guys, this is my purse sale Saturday. Let me know what you think. If there's something that you can't live without, hit me up via email, jamiewhitenight at yahoo.com. Oh, I'm sorry, not Yahoo. jamiewhitenight at icloud.com. Sorry, it's going to take me a minute to get used to using that other email address. But it does work out really well because I don't have a whole bunch of emails going in there. So I can very quickly spot you guys' emails. So, where are we at time-wise? 36 minutes. Um, that brings us to story time, because you know I'm not going to rip you off no matter how long the video is. So, I did go out the other night, you guys. Um, it was definitely, definitely an interesting night. I wasn't going to go out. Um, well, I was. I was. I was off and on. Like, when I made my video, I was like, yeah, I'm going out to Cornhole. Well... I ended up after, you know, after I got off work, I had errands to run, dinner to cook, all of that stuff. So I had told um, Mark that if I was, if I came, it would be late. And um, anyway, then my girlfriend started texting me. They wanted me to meet them at City Limits for karaoke because they just started doing karaoke on Thursday nights. Not that I sing, y'all. Um, so I decided, you know, since it was so late, by the time I got out the door, it was after eight o'clock. And I decided that I would just go ahead and meet my girlfriends at City because, you know, after Mark's done playing cornhole, he always goes to City anyway. So I figure, well, I'll just catch up with him then. Well, apparently he didn't like that. <laughs> so my girlfriends and I were standing out front and we Mark pulled up and he comes to a dead stop right in front of the bar in the middle of the road, dead stop. And he's looking at us. And we're waving. You know, we waved. He, I don't know, he must have been pissed because he just nailed it, man. He put the gas to the floor, squealed his tires, and off he went. And my girlfriends are like, oh my God, what is up with that? You know, he's coming back, right? I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But you know what? That was it for me. You know, that to me was a sign of aggression. He showed his ass. So that just sealed the deal. So yesterday, that man rang my fucking phone seven times. Seven. Seven times. Left me a voicemail. I Every time he called, I just sent him to voicemail. Sent him to voicemail. Sent him to voicemail. Well, he did leave me one voicemail and asked me to call him. And that was like on call number three. Well, you left me a voicemail. You know I live with my phone. Practically. I mean, you know, there are times like I'll leave it charging and I'll go into another room or whatever. I'm not like that attached to it. But anyway, so four more times after the voicemail. Today, it's been quiet. But of course, it's the weekend and that's his MO. He disappears on the weekends. So who knows? Maybe my phone will start blowing up again tomorrow or Monday. I don't know, but I'm just still not answering it. And when I do run into him out in the wild, because I know I will... Um, I'm just going to tell him that, you know, I didn't see any point in wasting his time any longer or mine. Um, because, you know, my first marriage was very, very abusive and you show me aggression like that and I'm out, out, O-U-T, out. And no, that was not my husband that I just, that I got divorced from like a year and a half ago. That's, that's my second husband. Um, but anyway, so I'm done. But you guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Zach just pulled into the driveway and when he walks in the house, the dog's going to go nuts and start barking. Um, 
what I've got coming up for you. I did order an America's Thrift Supply purse box yesterday. Hopefully, hopefully it's better than yesterday's box. Um, and I also have a DIY designer box coming. Now, the designer box hasn't shipped yet, so I hope they didn't oversell them, and I hope I don't have to wait 100 years. And there it goes. So with that, you guys, I am out. Peace.